Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom Brittany, guys. Another video, guys. We are playing some Apex Legends. I decided, you know what? Let me try playing the game that everyone's saying is going to kill Fortnite. I'm going to give my two cents and give you guys my honest opinion if I think this game is better than Fortnite and stuff like that. You guys know I really love Fortnite. It's a fun game. I love everything about it. But a lot of people have been getting tired of it and mad of it. And I think it's just because, uh, I mean, if you play a game so much, you're going to get tired of it. But then again, when I talk to a lot of my local friends and like where I live, they say they don't like the game because there's a lot of tryhards oh, in the game the and it's, it's true like if you're getting into a game and you're just casually playing the game and you have all these like 13 year old kids going tryhard with twitch.tv in their names and going like crazy tryhard trying to become pros and stuff like that like it gets annoying i honestly think fortnite should have done something where they had like a ranked play series they do do the pop-up cups but that's only like a certain period of the night that covers it they should do like a ranked play thing a playlist, a gameplay that you can actually just select that and try to rank up within the competitive people. That way it splits up the, the competitive community and the casual players. I know a lot of people don't like splitting them up, but when you think about it, when you have 80% of the population doing casual players and 20% playing competitive, when you have like that 30 extra percent of people from the casual players going try hard, like it, it's just annoying to run into try hards like that when you're just playing the game for fun. So I can see why a lot of people have been disliking Fortnite lately, but the game is still an amazing game. Game. People are saying the game's dying, the game's getting boring, it sucks now. It, that's not true. That's everyone's personal opinion. The game, I believe the game still is just as fun as it was day one. It's just when you play the game so much, you do get tired of it. So it's kind of, it, the game's good. I mean, if anything, the game got better. The graphics got better. Everything about the game got better. Yeah, there may be things that you don't like, but it still did not ruin the game. So for anyone that's out there saying that the game is dead or the game is dying, I mean, I think those people are just giving their personal opinion on the game themselves. That means they don't like the game and they're not having fun playing it. But it does not mean the game is dying or dead or anything like that. The game is still extremely fun. They're still pulling a lot of numbers on the game. Yes, even though another game might come, um, Fortnite still has the numbers. They still pull a lot more viewers, a lot more gameplay, a lot more people are playing it. I don't know why I said gameplay. I meant a lot more people are playing it live and stuff like that. So Fortnite is winning and all terms and senses like that but there is new games like this one right here apex legends this one everyone is hyping up to be the fortnite killer a lot of people said that blackout was going to be the fortnite killer but the thing is is this game kind of reminds me of blackout like it's a call of duty game but the thing is is this one is completely free and honestly for us gamers out there seeing the success of this game being very very successful so far having it being a free game is good for us gamers because that means a lot of game developers out there are going to start being like you know what maybe at least for battle royale we cannot charge money for games because a lot of these kids or a lot of the people that play games would rather play a game for free and try it out and then enjoy it that way because think about it fortnite was free and that's why it blew up because a lot of people were able to play a game that was free and different instead of having to invest 60 dollars into buying a game to see if you like it or not a lot of people were telling their friends hey get this game try it it's free just download it it's free you're not losing anything it's free just play with those friends and that's what got a lot of people hooked onto the game because they got to try it for the first time for free without having to go through like oh it's just a beta or anything like like that like yes it is in beta form but the game is basically already out so this game is doing the same exact thing and honestly seeing the success on this game is going to make a lot more game developers in the battle royale verge or industry do this more often now in my opinion i think that's really really good for us gamers because again free games who does not like free games it's free why not try it so this game honestly giving you guys my first impression on this game was wow my very first impression opening up the software was wow the graphics are really good um but the only thing is is I'm not used to how the game is set up. Like, I don't know how to navigate through this, the storyline. I don't know how to navigate through multiplayer. I don't know how to invite friends, add people, and stuff like that. I'm so used to Fortnite and Epic and that stuff like that. And a lot of people freak out when they see that and they, they judge a game. They're like, nah, I don't even want to do it because I'm not used to it. But when you get used to it, it's very, very simple to get used to it, guys. So you got to give it a chance. Play it for a day. Play like five games, maybe. Talk with your friends, learn some things. In fact, I'm going to actually be doing a beginner's video for everyone out there in this game that want to play this game that want to learn everything before they actually get into it. Now, I'm not talking about like what's the best weapon to use or anything, but I'm just talking about what everything in the game does. So the abilities that you have, the ammo you can pick up, the weapons you can pick up, what kind of guns, what kind of, how you add friends and stuff like that. It's just kind of going to be a beginner guide. I'm going to make that video very, very soon for you guys. So that way you guys aren't out there struggling and you can actually find what you need to find. So now comes the question of why you guys probably all clicked on this game. Is this game better than Fortnite? Will it destroy Fortnite and take over with live stream views and everything like that? No. No, 
I don't think it will. Honest, just giving my honest opinion. I do love the game, and I'm probably gonna play the game a lot more often because I like the game a lot. I enjoy it. Plus, it's free, and I want to start new content on the channel. But the thing is, is Fortnite is like if you think about the the gamers that play Fortnite, a lot of it is kids. You guys can't can't deny that. I mean, they have the dances, and whenever they do Fortnite events, you have kids out there dancing, and everyone's cringing at it because a lot of the players are kids that enjoy it. So the thing is, is this game is kind of like more adult, like it's like a Call of Duty themed game where it's more realistic and stuff like that so having cartoon characters in a video game where you can change the skin and stuff like that you're you're pulling brand new kid viewers you're pulling brand new kids and getting into gaming and stuff like that so you're getting a lot more people that have time to actually play games because a lot of adults have they work they're busy they have kids they can't really play games that much but kids all they have is school and then of course video games that's all they can do so when you have stuff like that when you're attracting the audience of kids you're going to be able to pull in massive numbers which is what fortnite did exactly and i think that's why they got so successful and then again the game was also different from any other game meaning the building aspect of fortnite there was nothing like that and this game's not anything like that either this game is just a normal battle royale game that's just very smooth very clean it's not like PUBG. it's very like the server Servers are very nice, the movement's nice, everything about it is nice. It reminds me of a Call of Duty mixed with Destiny slash uh, Overwatch. If you guys played any of those games, you'll you'll kind of get the same vibe from it. But it's still a very, very fun game. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this game's not going to be successful because it sucks. The game's really fun. I, I enjoy it a lot. It's just Fortnite had everything that it needed to succeed. Basically, everything fit in perfectly with Fortnite for them to be as successful as they are. Now, this game, it won't kill Fortnite. I know a lot of people are probably going to deny it. They guess it is. It's gonna kill it and a lot of blackout people have said the same thing but guys the game is just it's not kid friendly like yeah maybe a lot more adults like shroud and uh dr disrespect are gonna come to this game and like it i mean they even said it themselves they do like this game a lot um better than fortnite but those are adults when you're talking about kids and and we're talking about percentage guys we're talking about like the gross community of gamers are mainly younger people younger kids and stuff like that so when you have a game like fortnite having the same exact thing as this game uh i mean kids are gonna definitely want to play fortnite more because they can switch from a teddy bear skin to a robot skin to a superhero skin to a princess skin they could do whatever they want and it's just it's more kid friendly this game you can't even see your skins it's not third person it's first person so i don't know if the kids will like it but i i enjoy it but guys if you do play this game apex legends please please if you've tried the game if you want to try the game give this video a thumbs up i want to hit 100 likes on this video guys if we do hit 100 likes i'm going to do something special for the community on this channel with this game so stay tuned for that let's just break 100 likes on it first then i'll reveal to you what it is with that being said i'm gonna let you guys finish out the gameplay with the audio i think i die right here but you guys are gonna definitely enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace hey i got nades too what am i doing Push. Knock one. 